Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 12th of July, Brahmos missile failed during test firing and fell shortly after takeoff. While it was a very sad moment for Indians, our neighbors were delighted with this news and for obvious reasons. However, their happiness may not last longer after watching this video till the end. In today's video, we will discuss about two aspects of the test. First, we will talk about the reason for the failure and second, we will discuss about the Brahmos ER currently in service. The second part is what going to give nightmares to our neighbors who are getting gaga about the recent test failures. Before proceeding ahead, want to give a disclaimer to our viewers that this is based on our open source investigation and official confirmation by DRDO and Brahmos Aerospace has not yet been confirmed. Brahmos has been a very reliable missile. Its failure has raised concern amongst many of us. Therefore, we are keeping close watch on all the progress related to it and will try to bring all the latest news related to this particular test. Talking about the test conducted on 12th of July, the Brahmos missile failed to take off due to glitches with the propulsion system. As I have already mentioned in my previous video related to this test that India is trying to increase the indigenous component in Brahmos missile. This is being done to reduce its cost, increase export potential and shielding the countries buying it from Katsa Act or sanction of United States. Initially, Brahmos had 65% Russian components, including its ramjet engine and radar seeker. However, now it has 65% of indigenous components. The plan is to further increase it by 85% by replacing the components with an Indian-made seeker and booster. In the test conducted, a new ignition mechanism was used which failed to ignite the booster motor. The booster motor requires an efficient ignition system to start its functioning. A separate ignition system called igniter is assembled into the rocket to achieve this task. Igniters are basically of two types. Cryogen igniters used for large rockets of the ballistic missiles and protechnic igniters used for small rocket motors. The propulsion force of a solid propellant motor is derived from the combustion or the burning of solid propellant at a very high temperature and pressure. The igniter induces the combustion reaction in a controlled and predictable manner by generating heat flux in the form of hot, dense gases that rapidly ignites the propellant surface. The igniter also contributes towards the generation of certain minimum pressure inside the motor that is adequate for stable and sustained combustion of the propellant. Talking about Brahmos ER missile, it still works well and has been successfully test fired with older ignition system, and not once, twice. Therefore those who are celebrating the failure of the test may not be happy after hearing this. In the Navy, will still be able to hit Karachi from Mumbai waters using Brahmos ER missile. And let me add a little more facts to it. But before talking about it, I would like to tell once again, as spoken in my previous video, that the latest test of Brahmos ER had a range of 800 km and not between 450 to 600 km. Back in December 2020, and the Navy has moved a proposal worth 1800 crore rupees for the acquisition of 38 extended range Brahmos missile or Brahmos ER. These missiles will be fitted in the Bishakhapatnam class destroyers being constructed under the project 15B. The first destroyer in this class will be handed over to Indian Navy by the end of this year. There are three more destroyers of this class which is planned be constructed. I hope this would have cleared the questions on the reliability of Brahmos ER missile. India will continue to boost the indigenous components in this missile to achieve the goal of Art Univer Bharat. Every failure will be learning for us.
this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector